So this is the first time I've turned on the camera since uh, this morning's activities. And uh, we had a great hunt this morning. That was freaking cool. That's the first time that I've ever watched Dad and Jacob kill a bird together. It's the first time that we've ever shared a tree together uh, during a turkey hunt. At least since I was 16, so in the last 19 years. <sighs> uh, man, that was an awesome hunt. So anywho, I am back out trying to get my bird. Uh, my father is out as well, trying to find another bird. And Jacob is on his way to Illinois. <laughs> so, yeah, we found this um, real pretty little meadow here. So I'm going to sit here for a little bit and just kind of blind call. My legs are a little out of shape, so we'll sit here for a minute, see what happens. If not, we'll get up and uh, just keep walking on. This wind makes it really tough. I mean, the bird's probably going to have to be within two to 300 yards maybe before I hear it. So, nothing I can do about it though. spot or not. This is where they were this morning. I don't know if they're going to come back here or not. But if they do, I'll be here waiting. I would much prefer to strike one up and call a man, but with this wind, it's so hard to locate him right now. So we'll see. I did see a hen when I was down there. So, I don't know. There's just so much turkey sign in here. I feel like even if those birds that were here don't come back, there's a decent chance somebody will. But, if birds come back and start to gobble down this ridge from me, kind of wrapped around. I don't know that I would hear him back there. So I'm in a conundrum. I need to be in like three or four places at once. A bird just gobbled. I'm not sure whether I want to go after it or not. I think I had a guy come up on me and I don't know where he went. He never whistled or So I don't know whether to move on this bird or not. And that bird might come down here. Ugh, decisions.
Yeah, baby. Yes. Oh, I don't think it's on film. I'm sorry guys, I don't think that one's on film. Oh man. But you know what is so cool? Right there's the bird. Right there is where we took pictures of Dad and Jacob's bird. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Oh, let's go get our hands on him.
makes it so cool is Dad and Jacob got their first birds today, or their first Miriams today, both completing their Grand Slams. some daylight left. I'm going to take some good pictures. Morning, guys. My father and I are headed back out. I'm probably going to trip here and not use my headlamp, but I'll be alright. Back there is Faja. Yep, I'm tripping. Alright, I'm walking in. I should have filmed this, but I didn't. We got turkeys caught when I just coyote called. We're moving up on them. This is going to be a tricky situation. We've got a very deep ravine between us and them. But uh, we're going to figure something out. There's a couple gobbles that I thought might have been Jake's. So, we lost that bird. Don't know what happened, but that bird gobbled hard seven, eight times, would you say? Seven, ten, yeah. something. Somewhere around there. And uh, so we bailed off that mountain and climbed up next to where he was at and pretty certain we found exactly where he was standing. And uh, there was no turkey there. I thought I heard him gobble one other time, but now I'm doubting myself. So. Now we're just enjoying the shade at the moment. Well, guys, I think we're defeated. It's hot. We've walked a lot of ground. And we never got on that bird again. 
and the talk around town is that we're both going to leave and head to a new a new place. So, not sure where we're each headed yet. There have been talks of just about every direction other than south. So, we'll see. But it's been fun. Thank you guys for hanging out with us.